Hold on. Let me hide these socks so they don't know that I was once a Logan Paul fan. Hello and good morning. How are you? Uh, welcome to story time again because I have another story to tell. So, fucking... First of all... This is Odin. <laughs> He's crazy. Um, and my name is Rachel, if you're new to this channel. And I do lots of shit on this channel and... Okay, you need to calm down. I need you to relax. No, 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 no squeaking. No squeaking. Stop. Stop, stop. Okay, so, obviously the title of this video, you want- Stop! No, this is not time. You sit. Sit. You're so fucking cute. Oh my god. Uh, by the title of this video, you're like, bitch, get to the fucking story already. So, here we fucking go. I work in an apartment complex, and on the weekends, I'm there by my fucking self, and sometimes it gets a little bit creepy, because people come in and are creepy. No, 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 you're not crying. No, you be quiet. You be quiet. You be quiet, motherfucker. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You can stay right here, okay? Not be crazy. Not be crazy. So yesterday I was at work, right? And uh, <clears throat> this couple comes in and if you aren't familiar with me, I'm very sensitive to like vibes and energies that people are like given off and I can usually smell bullshit from a mile away and like I just kind of can know what your intentions are and just kind of feel the energy that's in the room so the second that they walked in I was like oh I don't like this vibe this is a fucking strange um kind of <clears throat> I don't know what this is but it's not something that I like be careful bitch it's a man and a woman and the woman has like her eye is like bloodshot on the right side and they both seem very kind of like nervous and they need to be in a downstairs three bedroom by the end of january and like today is the 13th and so yesterday was the fucking 12th um obviously because that's how that's how days work and they claim that their landlord gave them a notice on their door just the day before that they have to be out by the end of the month because they want to do renovations. And so that was kind of a little bit, you know, peculiar because typically like there are laws and landlords have to give you at least 20 days here or 60 days or something. So I don't know. It was just a little sketchy and they just seemed really nervous. I was like, okay, well, we don't have any three bedrooms, but we do have... Um, some two bedrooms available this month if you, uh, you know, are interested and want to take a look. Maybe you can be in a two bedroom for six months and then transfer to a larger apartment when something opens up. And they were like, okay, yeah, let, let's go see it. Let's go see it. I was like, okay, I need your IDs, please. Because we require valid uh, government issued IDs to tour and I keep them in my desk. Uh, we lock the doors of the office for safety fucking reasons, all right? So if I were to go out on a tour and get murdered, their IDs are locked up in my fucking office and we know who the fuck they are. Like, oh, this is the person that they were last with. So this, the second I asked for their IDs, they were like, started looking at each other, like, and then they nervously, like, dug through their wallets to get their IDs and they gave them to me and I looked at them. I was like, okay. And then I put them in my drawer and closed the door and they're like, are, are you going to give them back? And I was like, yeah, when we get back at the end of the tour, I will gladly give them back to you. Don't worry. I'll lock the door so nobody can get in to take them. And they were saying, <sighs> seemed like I thwarted whatever plan they had. And you know, I had the heebie-jeebie vibes from them. Um, so I, it, I didn't know what I felt initially was it felt like they were planning on attacking me or something and it was just kind of uh, unnerving a little bit scary and so I made sure to keep distance between myself and them the whole time and while I was walking on the tour with them I was facing them and walking backwards and like looking them both in the eyes to make sure like they know I know who the fuck they are like I see them I'm keeping a distance I'm I'm drilling them asking them questions about oh why are you looking for an apartment oh have you lived here long you know what's going on and they 
they just seemed really fucking, I don't know, it was this, it was this weird fucking energy. And so when we went into the apartment um, to look at it, I made sure that my back was against uh, a wall and let them walk past me. And then I was behind them or, or like in front of them, but like facing them the whole time so that they couldn't get like, you know, a fucking hit on me. Like, oh, she's, all right, she's looking at me and you're behind, so bah! you know, like they couldn't distract me like that. Like I made sure that I was always, I always had both of them in my line of vision and they were like going into the closets and stuff and they were kind of, you're not going to get the toy, but <laughs> they were like fucking kind of whispering to each other and it just felt so weird. Like I trust my fucking gut. My gut is right nine out of 10 fucking time. Hey, you better not take a shit on the floor, bud. Come over here. You sit stay here uh you know i trust my intuition and i trust my gut because i you know i'm right most of the fucking time and back when i was like in my early 20s or even my teenage years like i had this gut and this intuition but i would ignore it a lot of the times and i was always fucking right and so now whenever i get that like heightened like something's not right i fucking listen to that shit and i want to protect myself and you know just make sure everything's good and you know we got back to the office and they didn't want to give me their contact information so i made sure to write down their names um from their id and i put it into our system like hey these people came and visited like here are their names in our system what they're looking for all this shit. uh and they left and i was just like wow okay that freaked me out a little bit and then uh, later i was on the phone with phone i was on the phone with my friend samantha who actually used to be one of you guys she still watches my videos, I think, occasionally, but now she's, like, my actual friend, and, like, we have each other's phone numbers, and we be talking and shit all the time, and she's the one who, like, opened my third eye. Well, it's not all the way open, but, you know, got me into actually going and delving into tarot and all this stuff and you know sparked my passion because I was always interested in the stuff before but like I never would take the time to actually go in and like learn shit and like she's kind of helped guide me because she's already further along her spiritual awakening it's it's a whole thing all right <laughs> I know I kind of sound crazy but you know I don't, I don't care life is short whatever so I got on the phone with her because we wanted to do some readings um, for her and just, you know, practice my, my psychicness, you know, just wanted to practice it and get better at it. And so we were doing readings for her, which by the way, were fucking awesome. But the way that this shit goes down is so fucking crazy to me because like beforehand, before I like connect and channel the energies or whatever, like my brain does not... Like, I'm just thinking about my own life and other shit. And then all of a sudden, I do the meditation and the clearing and stuff. And then I'm like, all right, I'm going to connect to this motherfucker's energy. Y'all help me. Y'all give me the information so I can relay to her, okay? To them. Just let me fucking do this shit. And then all of a sudden, words just pop into my fucking head. And I'm like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to say. And this is what I'm feeling. And it's just, I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy, all right? It's just fucking crazy. And so after I did the reading for her... Um, I did several readings for her and then we were just like talking and I was like, oh yeah, this crazy thing happened at work. Like these people were just like odd, man. Like I thought that they were going to try to like kill me or something. Like it was not a good feeling. And she was like, wait, 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 don't tell me anything else. Like I want to, I want to see if I can like feel the vibes or whatever. And she's like, I don't think they wanted to harm you. I think they were trying to like rob you. Like maybe they were casing the place or maybe they had intended to come and rob you. Um, I don't think they wanted to actually hurt you though. And I was like, oh, that's fucking creepy. And I like got the chills all over. And she was like, you should definitely tell your boss about that. I was like, yeah, I should definitely do that. So I'm gonna go into the office and like, be like, hey, by the way, there are some sketchy people in here. I don't know. And I was like, well, you know, why would they want to rob me, rob us? Because like, we don't have cash on the premises. We have checks that people paid their rent with that are, are have already been like scanned and like processed and stuff. And they're in a safe. And so you, you you need me to get into the fucking safe. I don't know. But like that, I mean, I guess if you're trying to steal account numbers, that would make sense. And then it clicked and we're like, oh, maybe they're like identity thieves and they want to, you know, they're case in ways because this is kind of a secluded area. Like we're surrounded by a bunch of fucking trees. Not a whole lot of people really see the entrance to our apartment complex. And it's very quiet. Like um, we do not get a whole lot of traffic through here. 
And so, you know, maybe they're like, okay, well, since it's secluded, there's not going to be a whole lot of chance of people walking in like while we're doing this and uh, not a whole lot of people are going to really know and we can get away with it. And maybe they're going to break in and fucking steal all of the files and, you know, get social security numbers and like all this fucking information and try to steal people's identities. And so like, I need to go warn my boss about that, but it was just fucking crazy. Um, and then I was, I was about to tell her what they looked like and she's like, no, 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 no. Let me like, let me, let me try to try to guess. Like I want to, I want to, channel and, and see if I can figure out what they look like and I shit you not she described the woman like exactly how I saw her and um I think it was instead of her like channeling a message channeling from the spirits to tell what her exactly what they look like like she was in my head like I could feel her behind my eyeballs like looking at my memory and the way my memory works is I have a shitty memory but I distinctly remember what she looked like but I could barely kind of remember what the guy looked like because I wasn't paying that much attention to him I just kind of had a general idea and the way that she was describing was exactly how I was remembering it and I was like oh my god like this is so fucking crazy so this is a little bit of a you know a twofer of <laughs> I thought they were gonna fucking hurt me and then also I'm fucking psychic bitch so um yeah, hopefully this was entertaining to you. I know it's kind of a short fucking video, but like, man, what a crazy, ugh, like icky feeling. If you have those feelings, like you just feel something is not fucking right, listen, dude, like listen to your fucking intuition, okay? Whether or not you believe in energies and shit, like Trust your gut, okay? Because your gut's gonna try to fucking protect you, all right? There's there's a lot of sketchy people out in the world. So yeah, I don't know if they were like casing the place and they're gonna try to come back and rob me and it's gonna end up getting me killed. I don't fucking know, but I'm gonna tell my boss about it so that, you know, if we get robbed, we prepare. I don't know, I don't know how you prepare for a robbery, but I'm real afraid to get shot. Um, so yeah, fucking subscribe, weird shit happens in my life and I will tell you about it. Also, I have a really cute dog. So if anything, you can just come back to the channel for the cuteness of this little fluff. Okay, let me see you later. Bye.